so this is what happens i come up to my car there's a stream of oil on the front i'm like there's no oil in the front of the car so i open the hood looking on down i'm like man there's a bunch of oil down here and for some reason i took my oil cap off i didn't fill my oil don't know why and i decided to drive to work like this so this is pro race car driver 101 remember your oil cap folks I hope that everyone enjoyed that glimpse into my idiocy. So that's what we're working on today. Uh, we need to change the oil on my 1996 Civic hatch that's running a V16 and my other V16, the one that took the oil bath, my 1997 Civic hatch. Yeah, so give me five on my black hand side and let's go. I wanted to make note of this cool Honda flag I found on eBay. It's three by five. I didn't really have a place to put it, but it was my car. My car was on a flag and my garage needed to have it. If you wanna take the money from my pocket, just put my car on shirts and sweatshirts and I'll just put in my building address and shipping and it'll come. So the theme of today is safety. So I'm gonna do everything as correctly as possible. I have some very high quality O'Reilly's high mile oil for my baby. I'm using 1030, only the best. I won't need that much for both my oil changes, but whereas Harley's leak oil, Honda's just eat it in these older models. So this is the first one we're looking at. Um, I got my towels, very important. Funnel so I don't spill. This engine bay is just a little bit dirty because this is what I was driving in the hurricane that we had in California, which was a couple inches of rain. I know other states can't relate with their snow and all their fancy inclement weather. Also have uh, tire chocks to make sure this bad boy doesn't roll on me. I have my oil catch can or disposal container, big drink. Uh, it's very effective, very big, and that should hold all the oil I'm going to put in it today. It should not overflow, so I will not need to empty it. But when I do end up using a complete one of these, I will put the old waste oil in there because it makes it easier to take to the um, O'Reilly's and dump it there. And I'll also use these. I have them. I rarely use them because I'm just hoping to see Paul Walker. But today, we're going to live to see another day. So when we cut back, I'll probably have the other car up here because I don't need to show this. The oil change process is you drain it from the drain plug. There's not really anything else to drain. You can definitely tell a engine oil pan drain plug from the transmission plug. I know in some cars it's a little iffy, but Hondas were very straightforward. Oh, this is actually going to cool a little bit too because I just got home. And then I'll swap out the oil filter. Uh, there are lots of different oil filters you can use. I really like the blue Honda ones, and I also like the uh, little green ones, those JDM ones that you can get. Um, the only important thing, and I've only done this once, just like I've only left my oil cap off twice, this being the second time, um, is when you uh, change this, make sure that the old one comes off, or else it hangs down, because it'll hang off that um, piece that this screws onto, and when you put this, there'll be a little gap and when you start the engine, oil will just shoot out of the back of your block all over your driveway. And so I don't want that to happen. And so I'm very good at that. So let's get this done. We'll move on to the next one. Things I forgot to mention. This bad boy's draining. That's no problem. Uh, like always, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I just happen to be upside down. So just remember that. Um, this is called a crush washer. You're supposed to replace these. I had my friend give me a few. He gave me the wrong ones. That's okay. Let's reuse this one. It should be fine. But it's recommended that you do replace these. Uh, the good thing about doing your own oil is that you get to see if there's any leaks. And I know that this is a this is borrowed motor. I borrowed it from my housemate when my GSR spun a bearing. It has a leak up here in the valve cover gasket. And it's a pretty good leak. I think it leaks out of these as well as right here. I mean, it's not such a big deal where I need to uh, take care of it immediately. I definitely want to clean this engine bay just for mostly presentation's sake. Uh, but yeah, all the way down. And there's, there's grease around the oil pan. And I don't think the oil pan gasket is leaking itself, but the motor runs strong, it's good. And also when you do your oil, uh, you want to pop out your 
dipstick. That way you can see um, how low you were. Um, I checked this one frequently, so like I was fine when I drained it. I just knew that it needed to be done. And then, uh, what else do I want to show you? Oh, slipping down. It's that slow panning action coming down here. Perfect. Yeah, so everything's draining. No problem. Uh, the tool you need, either wrench or socket, 17 mil. And then the oil filter comes off the back. I'll bring some towels down with me. This doesn't really make a mess because Honda, everything's pretty clear of being dripped on. But I will just wipe off the mating surface where the oil filter attaches on there. And then after I, I get top back off, I think it's 3.75 quarts. But we'll add about that because I think it's close to four or just under. After that, I'll run it and I'll make sure there's no leaks while it's running. I'll make sure I have the uh, drain plug on tight enough and the oil filters on tight enough. And then uh, I'll shut it off and double check the oil level because I just don't want to overfill it, which is worse than you'd actually think it would be. So I'm careful about that. Then we'll switch to the other one real quick. It definitely looks less bad today. I scrubbed off all these areas where the oil had blown into. There was big standing pools on the manifold because usually I don't like to spray around the injectors or anything electronic, but I had to blast it real quick. My intake tube's a little greasy still, and there's a few other areas that could use a little love, like the lower part of that strut tower could use more of a scrub, but I was in a hurry. I was still in my work clothes, so I was dressed in a full suit. I just made sure to pull off my little drip socks. These are definitely worth the $9 they cost to get because they do save any overflows from your clutch and brake master cylinders. I still check them periodically to see if they need any bit of a top off. They usually don't, but it's good to check because you can't see the levels with the socks on, but it saves your paint. I also forget that I have a hole right there, which I'm guessing would be for cruise control, which my car doesn't have. So I need to find a plug to fill that. So when oil explodes in the engine bay or I decide to spray this with water I'm not just shooting the water right into the feet on my driver's side of my car so this one will be another quick oil change like the last one check the fluids got that one right to the full dot and it's right where I want it this one's a lot cleaner cleaner in general there's just some sort of leak right here and once this is second in line once we get the red car, uh, the engine that we're working on in there and the engine bay cleaned up. This one will get loved second. And I absolutely hate these studs I bought. I cheaped out and they're supposed to be black and they rusted instantly. So we will do better with that. And when this one gets fixed, it will end up having air conditioning. It will be the only one that has it. We definitely should have started with this one. I don't know why it feels like there's night and day more space to get my hand in here. I ended up changing the filter from the top just because I was standing here. I'm like, I can see it. I can reach it. I was looking at my other block. The knock sensor is a lot closer to the manifold. I think that sensor, if you can see it, it's right behind the alternator. So that one right there. I think it's like an oil pressure. It goes in the back of the block right next to the oil filter. That would probably make sense. But yeah, I was able to get the old filter off, new filter on. Um, <coughs> Oh man, excuse me. Um, there's a few things in the way. Like the intermediate shaft right there. So that gets a little bit of oil on it, but I'm, I can just wipe that off real quick and the rest of it will burn off. I know some cars, it's an absolute nice nightmare, but this one was way, way easier. And the only difference I can think of is my other car has a little extra bar right here. But this was so easy to get my hand in. And I almost missed this perfect chance to plug a friend of mine, a 3DP right there. He, this is a prototype that he... Let me use to see how I like it. And this filter, unlike that last one that I knocked out several times, I kept bumping it. This one screws right in here, so it's fixed. So it'll stay here, it won't fall out, and I'll be able to put my engine oil without leaking at all. That maybe took me an hour. I was kind of dicking around, just looking at stuff that I need to fix and replace, because why have money and savings? Why send your kids to college when you can just finding, keep finding problems and fixing them? But much love to 3DP over in Las Vegas. You should hit up his Instagram. I will link it under the socials in the description and just be like, hey, I want to buy something. It's got these dope keychains that are a B-series valve cover because you got to represent in any way you can. Oil's topped off. It's good. Oil 
oil plug is tight, oil filter is tight, and everything is cleaned off back there. So I hope to see a lot of progress with this in the months and years to come until the state makes these illegal. I mean, they're halfway there already. But thanks for coming along.